Hello everybody, this is Stephen Jonathan D. Welcome to our great course about how to become a self-made millionaire. How to become a self-made millionaire. Now we are going to talk about the mindset. The mindset that can enable anyone to move from zero to millionaire. You know, a business philosopher said something remarkable one day. He said, becoming a millionaire is not that difficult. But it is not the most important thing. The most important part of becoming a millionaire is the person that you have to become to accumulate a million dollar in the first place. So this is a very great and powerful insight because in order to become wealthy, we need to develop a personality, a mindset, a way of thinking that can enable you to attract wealth. I'm talking about a personality, I'm talking about developing a character and a set of habits in order for you to achieve your financial freedom. So in this first part, I'm going to show you some steps that can help you to enter your wealthy place. Step number one, condition your mind and make a decision that you are going to become rich. The first step of becoming a self-made millionaire is to condition your mind and to make a decision that you are going to become rich. In order for you to become a self-made millionaire, your mind must have a solid foundation of sound success and future. You must have that positive picture, that great image of the great you in you. The better you in you. I'm talking about you having the capacity and the ability to wake up one morning and take the decision that is time for me to have a quality life. You know, when you take decision to have a great life, to enjoy a great life, and you form inside of you the image of the dream board of that great future, of that powerful future, you are going to unleash the subconscious power, the force of the universe, and the great laws of life and spiritual laws that are going to organize your life around your dominant thinking. That's very important. And that's something I want everybody to get very well. You cannot think like a slave and you are expected to live like a king. It is important. You can never be greater than your thoughts. You can never be greater than your mind. So you are not different from your thinking. You become what you think most of your time. Somebody say, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is it. So the way you think, your dominant thought has the capacity and the ability to condition your life. I was thinking last time about why people are living a broke life unsuccessful life and I realize that we are actually a projection of our thoughts we are a projection of our thought so if you want to become a millionaire if you want to become a self-made millionaire we need to learn how to think like a millionaire we need to have what I call the I can do mentality the I can do mentality must drive you Financial success is not a miracle, it's not a matter of luck. You need to reach a point in your life when you are absolutely clear about what you want to achieve in life in terms of finances. I need to reach a point in your life when you can see the people who have achieved it and you decide to copy what they are doing to get the same result they are getting in their life. Some people used to say it's not easy in my country it's not easy in my continent, maybe because of my color, because of my age, because of my background. Let me tell you something powerful. It's not because of your background that your life is destroyed. Your mindset. Your mindset. The world inside of you is the world that is going to create life around you. So if you want to change your life around you, we are speaking about financing. It's time for you to free your mind for all kinds of mental block about money, 
Remove what are called the money needs. Like some people used to say, money cannot buy happiness. It's true. Money cannot buy happiness, but what is sure is that poverty cannot buy anything. So if you want to connect your life to broke courts, courts of people who are broke in life, who are trying to justify their condition by quoting some that scripture, Bible scripture, outside of the context, that blessed are those who are poor because the kingdom of God belongs to them. But they forget that God, the creator of everything, silver and gold belongs to him. And sometimes they come up with arguments saying that money is the root of all evil, whereas the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. So the Bible was talking about making money an object of devotion. So money is neutral. Money takes the character of its owner. Money in the hands of a drug artist will buy drugs. Money in the hands of a philanthropy will start doing some charity work. So money is just an amplifier. Money is there to reveal who you are. If you're stingy, money will reveal how stingy you are. If you're greedy, money will reveal how greedy you are. And if you are generous, money will reveal how generous you are in life. You are going to be doing some good stuff for people. You are going to try to make all people happy around you. <clears throat> Let me continue to embellish the talk. Because I read in the scripture last time, Proverbs 23 verse 7, that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So it means something remarkable for me that the forces of command are inside the man's heart. If I learn to live my life on the inside, if I say to myself, I'm not going to be a poor man, I'm not going to be a broke person, I believe I'm going to be a great person, I believe I have what it takes to be successful tomorrow. And I keep on repeating to myself that money is coming to me, I'm born to be a millionaire, and I'm going to become a millionaire. And I build that image. I decide to build that image through the art of visualization. I build that positive image about my future. I feel the reality on the inside. I feel the joy on the inside. I see myself literally making millions, counting millions. You know what you are doing? Something great. Until you see it, you cannot get it. Until you see it with the eyes of the heart, your physical eyes will never touch it. So what you want to see in life, see it first in your mind. Let me repeat it. What you want to see in life, see it first in your mind. If you can picture it, you are going to touch it. God is going to actualize what you visualize. What are your visualizations? Have you conditioned your mind? To become a millionaire if not the time has come for you to wake up and do something to change your financial situation stay blessed and stay connected and i hope you enjoyed this great session and stay tuned for part two step number two or how to become a self-made billionaire god bless you